Hey guys, welcome back to my channel called How To. Today we'll see how to upload QCOW images into the UNG. So previously we have seen how to download and install uh, UNG into your local machine. Um, so uh, first and foremost, what you need to have is um, let's quickly jump into the browser and search WinSCP download. Okay, so once uh, so this is an official website for WinSCP and you just need to download this file and install it okay so I have already did the same and I do have my WinSCP installed and running on my machine so kindly do install and do the setup first so once that is done uh, what you need to do is you need to turn on your ENG uh, let's open the VMware go to the ENG and power on, power on this virtual machine okay so once this will be up uh, we'll be having the IP address and and we need to take a login okay let's wait so meanwhile what what, what I'd like to show you is ENG QCOW and so this is uh, once you'll search ENG QCOW uh, you'll, you'll be seeing QCOW image naming link just click on this and you'll get the inside right I'm like uh, what would be the location that like now you need to upload the QCOW image right and uh, for 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 multi for multi vendor right for F5 what should be the folder name inside the QCOW right what should be the QCOW name what should be the folder name right so like so this this will give you a clarity right for multi vendor for 14 right what should be the folder name what should be the QCOW name so this is an, a complete uh, checklist uh, just to have a clarity with if you have any issue just you can just come to the website and see what should be the folder name that you need to have in place right what should be the QCOW is that you need to have in place and so on and so forth okay so I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this point uh, when we will be uploading our Cisco routers and switches then I'll show you how what should be the folder name what should be the QCOW image name okay so once <coughs> our event will be up we, we are getting this IP address 192.168.62.134 right so open your open 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 your WinSCP once you'll download and install it so you need to have uh, uh, just click on new session over here also this left hand side this, this this segment is for your windows machine i'm like this 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 is something like you know your local drive or, or your hard drive all right so these are i i'm in d drive right now if you want to navigate to desktop or any, any other drives that this is where you can navigate okay uh just 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 to just like who is not familiar with this uh software uh we can upload and we can download all uh, right uh using this win scp uh, so once you'll be downloading and once you'll have this screen just click on new session and I'll just uh, click on new site okay so this site this was already I have saved but I just want to get rid, get rid of it I'll just delete this so I'll just go on new site so probably you'll see SFTP right and the port number is 22 so the host name would be the IP address that you have got uh, you know from from the VM it should be 192.168.62.134 just type it in your case that might be a different case but for me this is the IP address that I have got 192.168.62.134 uh, okay right so the username would be as we have stated yesterday right for for uh, console uh, we need to have a uh, username as a root and password as Eve right I think yesterday I have shown, shown you this thing as well probably it should be somewhere yes so the console for the console the username would be root and the password would be Eve for the GUI uh, the username would be admin and the password would be Eve okay so once you'll hit this just click on login and just click on yes okay so we are into the root uh, directory okay so this is this is where uh, this so this is the section where uh, we are into this root uh, directory so once you are here just go up 
the way I did just click an up arrow just go just go up and you need to navigate to uh, just go on opt folder first opt directory and then unit lab and then add-ons and then Q Q E M U okay so first opt okay just follow the process opt just click on opt and then unit lab and then add-ons okay and then Q E M U and we are into this this directory right so this is the path we have followed now once you are here what you need to do is I'll just give you the link uh, for my QCOW uh, images uh, so I do have my images over here uh, software QCOW images okay uh, right so this is my switch and this is my router that I have Okay, so as I said right the folder we need to have in place is C just for simplicity uh, VIOS L2 hyphen switch why I have named this folder as this the meaning by the, the, the name of this folder is VIOS L2 hy I can just take it out just for simplicity I'll just delete this folder okay uh, so this is the switch okay uh, just go to this uh, website and search Cisco router or switch okay now see for lay to switch we need to have folder name like this this is mandatory okay so the folder name should be like this and after hyphen uh, after this minus sign you can you can give any name as you want but this is mandatory okay and inside this folder the fa the file name the actual qcow image name should be like this v i r t i o a right so that's what we have done here so v i o s l2 hyphen this is mandatory after this we can give any name uh, any, any feasible, feasible name and similarly for cisco router uh, okay this is for cisco router uh, um, this is for cisco switch v i o s l2 hyphen and 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 as per your description that you want to give but for Cisco router for L3 router uh, VIOS hyphen for router VIOS hyphen and then router or any, anything you want okay so that's 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 the naming convention that like you know Eve uh, supports okay so that's something we need to uh, have in place okay so what I'll be doing is I'll just go to this router as well I'll just take this router out for me I'll just delete this one okay now I'll be uploading Cisco switch okay before uploading Cisco switch I just need to 192 168 60 to 134 60 to 134 okay I just log into the GUI admin if and when I want to close lab I just want to open this lab test unit just open and if I'll if I'll right click on this just simply right click and click on node if I type Cisco switch or switch right see this is this is grayed out right now it is showing nothing is there no image is there right there's a red uh, mark that is that is coming out and it's like grayed out the reason being we haven't uploaded any QCOW images into the Eve the reason being it is showing grayed out okay now once I'll upload now let's see how to upload this what I'll be doing is I'll just uh, navigate to the path where I have placed my uh, QCOW image that is under D drive or any drive you have in your in, in your in your machine just navigate uh, I'll just go to D software and QCOW image what I'll be doing is I'll just uh, upload the switch first or any router as, as per your need I'll just drag and drop this into opt unit lab add-ons in QMU folder like this just simply drag from left to right okay and this is the easiest way to do just simply drag and drop it here I, I'll ju I just want to even upload my router image as well so once this is uploaded just go back to your Eve and right click into this and click on node and 
type Cisco or switch now see we have an we, we can pick this switch right and if you want to pick the router even we can pick the router it's not grayed out for micro tick it's it's grayed out but for Cisco router it is not so I'll just pick router and uh, how many of nodes you want to have in place you can give two three as per your need right and uh, so the RAM that is consuming one one CPU one one one, one, one frame of RAM that it, it will be consuming and so on so so once if you want to give it a name give a router and click on save now our router is here if I if you want to add the switch as well right click on this click on node and click on switch this is the Cisco switch you can rename if you want it's already switch and if you want to even change the logo uh, like you know the icon you can uh, pick the icon as you want but by default it's there so I, I, I won't be doing any changes and click on save and I'll just do the connectivity right you can even choose the interface what interface you want to have between this click on save and once this is save I'll just try to I'll just highlight this like this and I'll just right click on this and start selected okay now my switch is started my router is started okay so once I'll now my router is started it's blue now once I'll click over here when just 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 to the left click it will show you uh, this pop-up right open SSH talent and R login client yes I just need to open SSH and similarly for switch just click on this open SSH okay let's give some time to I'll just click enter okay they might be loading I'll just wait for some time until they boot up okay now it, it it is initializing okay so the first time it will take some time to load up but once that is done uh, the next time it won't be taking much time okay so they are coming up uh, they are they are they are powering up uh, so let's keep some time to load so so this is like pretty simple right uh, all you need to have in place is uh, so you just need to memorize the path or if you can't remember I just come to this event portal and see the path right and the description uh, right what should be the folder name what and, and for the vendors what should the queue what, what should be this queue call image name okay so that's that's something you need to uh, make sure and just use WinSCP and try and just just try to log in just try to take the SFTP console and just upload the upload your images over here right if I want to upload my Cisco eyes I just Cisco eyes, eyes is like pretty heavy I, I, I will be doing lab going further on this but I just want to upload Polo as well as an and even I want to upload my big IP F5 load balancer I'll do that later on but this is how like you know, just, just to demonstrate this is how you can do it and once these are up and running I'll just verify everything is in place just to make sure so this is my router just click enter click enable config t host name router do so IP interface brief okay so IP address have been configured already probably the image that I have picked it was already configured uh, so that's not an issue so version okay so platform so yes commands are being accepted everything looks good swipe interface description I 
script config t default default interface kick slash zero i just want to make sure like you know um, so i do interface brief yeah that is good so far i can save the config as well uh, i can see like you know the connectivity between so should be neighbor uh, so yeah these are up config t interface kick zero slash zero no shirt shirt you can do anything right i'm like the commands are accepted you can you can play around your labs and and do whatever you want uh, as, as a part of your lab so this video was just to showcase like you know how we can upload uh qcom images into the eve and i'll just uh give you the link uh to download uh, these images uh, into the into the description you can just download the image and uh, to your own lab and if you have any issues on, on on doing so do let me know in the comment section below i hope this video would be informative for you and thank you so much for watching see you until next time bye bye